Hi today I'm going to show you how to push an, a new CSV file into Microsoft OneDrive. Maybe you have another file in OneDrive that you need to clean or change column names or maybe you are getting a file emailed to you every day. Maybe it's a report that's being output from a system or uh, maybe there's a file in FTP or Google Drive or Google Sheets or Airtable. You just have some sort of file or data that you need to make a CSV on OneDrive about. So let's choose a file here to start setting up this flow. This is just pure setup. I, let's say I get this file every day as like an emailed report from somewhere. Let's do this one here. And we'll call this OneDrive input and call whatever you want. And uh, here's all the columns that are coming in from the file. I can uncheck any columns I don't care about. Easy CSV ignores everything unless you tell it the columns to grab. So we'll do next. And we're going to say we're going to say our destination is OneDrive. So here we are. Here's the import page. You can drag files here eventually and just import files manually. You can share this page as a link, and you can have other people import files into OneDrive if you want. You know, forcing them to have the columns. I'm just going to show you how to automate. I'm going to say that you're getting a file from somewhere. You need to clean it and push it up. Um, when you start this page, you'll see this big red banner up here. There's only two steps to go to OneDrive. The first step will be connecting your OneDrive account or your Microsoft Azure account to EasyCSV. There'll be a button to do that. You'll do that, you'll go log into Azure, you'll come back, or Microsoft, you'll come back, and then it'll change to this, specifying where you want the files to go on OneDrive. Uh, and then you're done. Okay, so we'll, we'll kind of run through that here. So you can either click here to set the folder, or you can go to the import flow. The import flow kind of details the whole flow. This first top area is how EasyCSV gets files. So. For example, here's the email that files can be sent to for this flow, which is also here. And those emails can have an attached file. They can be they can have a link to a file in it, but it just has to be a CSV or XLSX. Um, I'll show this in a minute, but you can we can go get files on a schedule. So maybe the file's on FTP, or it's a Google Sheet, or it's on Google Drive, or it's another file on Outlook, uh, uh, OneDrive. We can go get it. The middle is kind of the configuration. So here's the columns you told Easy CSV about. It'll ignore anything that's not there. If you if there's a new column added to a, to a spreadsheet, you can click New Column and just type the exact name of the column, and Easy CSV will start pulling it when it sees the next file. Filtering data, you can filter out data you don't want, or only filter for data you do want. So maybe you want country must contain U.S. or maybe you know. You don't want the U.S., so it does not contain U.S., so it'll only to import stretch heroes if it meets this criteria. So you can filter out bad data you don't want. Maybe there's like a totals rule or something. Virtual fields um, help you combine or massage fields. Maybe you need to round a price to the nearest dollar, or maybe you need to combine a first and last name into a full name column. Um, we can also rename the columns here. So like maybe the column from the file coming in is called phone number, but you need it to be called phone in the final file because that's what that that other system is only accepting columns called phone that phone number so you can do that you can also like maybe it, it's phone number but you need to remove the hyphens in the phone number you can do that so you can clean and rename here um, let's just get the uh, the value we'll save that I'll come back to it so that's gonna make a new column called phone in the output file and the bottom is the OneDrive settings, the destination. And so in this case, I have my OneDrive account connected. If you don't, there'll be a link here. It'll be red. It'll say connect your OneDrive account. Then it'll, you'll be able to set the file name, the path, and then you'll see here the output, an example of the output file. And you saw here we renamed the column phone number to phone, but the old column is still there. So we don't want that old column. We'll go up to columns. And this one here, send to destination file API, we're just going to turn this off. We don't want to delete it because we actually want to look at the the column from the file. If you go back to the import flow, you'll see phone is is there now and phone number's gone. And so that's how you can you can make a bunch of virtual fields to rename all these fields if you need to, and then you can change the order, and then you can turn them off to hide them. So let's specify the file name and the path. So let's say the path is going to be imports. Make sure this folder already exists on OneDrive. Then here, the default is this new CSV file, but maybe it needs to be like orders, like maybe these are orders from a store, and you need it to be year, month, day. So you're gonna, every day there'll be a file that's coming in, and you're going to rename it to year, month, day, and you're going to rename the columns, you're going to clean the columns. You can choose the delimiter, you can choose the encoding, you can see if it needs a, I'll put uh, first row header or not, most of the time, yes. 
the special syntax you have to click on this link you can use all of these things in the file name and you can actually keep the same file name if you want let's say you're getting an email and you just want to push the file onto OneDrive you can just put this here and it'll, it'll keep the original file name cool okay so last thing is maybe we don't want to drag files here maybe we're trying to set up some automation so a lot of people will do emails with attachments if you do that and you specify the folder and file name it'll just start processing so you can send emails if you're testing make sure the subject lines are unique uh, easy csv dedupes the same subject line within two to five minutes so as long as your imports are two to five minutes apart if they have the same subject line you should be fine otherwise when testing make sure you have different subject lines um, you can click here to scheduled fetcher or you can go to import flow and click turn on and this is how you set up a schedule to automatically go get files so let's say every 24 hours we want to go to um, FTP right and I put in all my FTP info and I put in a file name and, I, and I'm gonna grab the file every 24 hours and then that'll run the process and send it to OneDrive let's say I just have some Google Sheet I can search for the name of the Google Sheet and every 24 hours it's gonna go get the Google Sheet we can go get you know files from FTP, Drive, Dropbox. You can get data from Airtable, Smartsheet, Notion, Box. We can get another file from OneDrive. Get a file from a URL. There's a lot here. You can get it every 10 to 20 minutes. Like maybe the maybe the uh, file coming in, you know, starts with order underscore. It can be greedy like that, and maybe you want them just for 2023. And if there's one for today or tomorrow, it'll it'll be you know, have more of the file name, but it'll be greedy and you can say only fetch the one file once ever. There's a ton of settings here to make sure you can get the files you need and have it check all the time for new files or check once a day to get a file. And then what it does, as soon as it fetches it, it just starts sending it through your flow, you know, to go to OneDrive. So it'll filter, it'll make virtual fields, it'll, you know, do all that and just send a file to OneDrive. Cool. You can always test by just dragging a file here and then turning on the schedule later. You can test by sending emails with attachments. It's all pretty pretty smooth once you connect your OneDrive account and set the destination folder. If you need any help, please reach out to EasyCSV support via chat or email. We're happy to help you get set up and testing and all of that. Thanks.